Get out of the fire? I don't know. We gotta make sure. Chief wants his mouth shut. It'll be a pleasure. Quick, Cato, they've spotted us. Something spooky the way that car disappears. Hey, I have an idea how we can get a line on that guy, Lynch. Yeah, what is it? He's got an interest in his brother's business. If he escapes, he's just dumb enough to go to his brother's place to hide out.
was a bad stroke of luck losing Lynch like that. Yes, Mr. Britt. We've got to find him again if we hope to end this cleaning and dying racket. Well, let's get some sleep. This is Mr. Reed's apartment. No, this is Michael Axford, his bodyguard. Uh, yes, Mr. Reed's here, but he can't be disturbed. But I've got to talk to him. It's a matter of life or death. Now, look, I can't understand you. Will you calm down? Tell him it's about the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? Well, why didn't you say so? Reed! Reed, wake up, will you? Reed! What is it, Michael? It, 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 you're wanted on the phone. It's, it's the Green Hornet. <laughs> the Green Hornet? I, I mean, it's about the Green Hornet. His life or death, he says. Fred Reed speaking. Who are you? Lynch. What Lynch? Oh, I see. Well, what do you want? I just got a tip that my associates are going to kill me. I don't dare go to the police. And the Green Hornet is after me, too. What do you expect me to do about it? Well, you've got influence, Mr. Reed. Yeah, I'll tell all I know about the cleaning and dyeing rackets. And it's plenty. But I want to guarantee your protection. Well, I can't promise you anything, but I feel the district attorney would be interested. Where are you now? At my brother's office, 219 4th Street. And I'm alone. Get over here at once. And my associates are hot on my trail. I'll be right down. Michael, we've got to move fast. Where's your car? It's in front. I was going to put it away, but I dozed off. Cato, my hat and coat. Two nineteen Fourth Street. Tell them there may be a murder. Wonder who Tip Lynch. He was on the spot. Step on it, Michael. We've got to get to him before his gang does. Calling car 37. Calling car 37. Go to 219 Wall Street. 219 Wall Street. And investigate the trouble. Be careful. It may be a shooting. That is all. Calling car 42. Car 42, go to 37 District. Locked. Cover the back door.
shoot. Killing. The men who did it went that way in a black sedan. Okay, Mr. Reed, we'll go after it. I'll report to headquarters for you. Come on, Michael. Call police headquarters. Yes, sir. This is Michael Axford. There's been a murder at, uh, at... Where is this place? 219 4th Street. 219 4th Street. Send the homicide squad, the coroner, fingerprint men, photographers... Uh... No, I don't want the mayor and the governor, too. I know what I'm about. It was me who was falling in cars while you were still balling in your crate. Police car trailer. Stop! We've smashed into something. Hey, what do you make of that? Oh, sure. Lynch was drawing pictures while he was talking to you on the floor. Men don't do that when they're excited. That's a picture of a wastebasket. Now, why would he be drawing that? To call our attention to it. It's a letter. Lynch hid it in the wastebasket so the men that were after him wouldn't find it. Well, read it. Mr. Reed, they're closing in on me. But if they get me, I'll have my revenge by this letter. The Green Hornet has nothing to do with the protection racket. My associates in the syndicate made me lie about that. They also killed Lavinson. Now they are after me. I hope you will avenge my death by trapping them. The big boss of all the rackets is a man named... Well, go on. What's his name? Unfortunately, that's all the time Lynch had to write. But it confirms my belief that there is a head to this crime ring. We've got to find him and wipe him out. I've just been talking to the chief. He's pretty sore about what happened last night. You had both the Green Hornet and Britt Reed on the spot, and you let them go. I'm not so sure the Green Hornet wasn't burned up in that fire. That's just it. You're not sure. Lynch got out. Why couldn't the Green Hornet, too? And later you had Reed did the rights. And if you hadn't been so anxious about your own necks, we'd have been free of those damaging editorials of his. Reed seems to be a pushover for a call for help. Maybe we can get him dead to rights again. All right, see if you can arrange something. I'll do that. Lynch's letter proves conclusively, Mr. Commissioner, that the rackets are under one hand. The thing to do is to find him. The police department is doing everything it can. We follow every lead, but they all fade out. The organization is too well protected. Well, the Green Hornet's doing his best to knock him over so he can be the big boss himself. Uh, by the way, have you increased the reward for him? Not officially. But I'll personally double it to anybody who can get the Green Hornet dead or alive. <laughs> Put it aside for me. Sure, I'm getting closer to Mr. Hornet every minute. Seriously, now, I'd like all this cleared up before the elections. 
Otherwise, conditions would be bad for an honest boat. Well, I've got to see the boss. What's the rush, Jenks? I've got the Hornet. Where? In your pocket? Oh, no kidding, Casey. This is the real McCoy. Mr. Reed is busy. Mm -hmm. You can count on the Sentinel in every way. I'm sure of that, Reed. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boss, I tracked the Hornet to his lair. I know where that big black car of his goes every night. How did you learn all this? In this anonymous letter that came this morning. If you want the Hornet, you can trap him at his hideout. It is a two-story house four miles from the city limits on State Highway Number 7. Don't tell the police or there may be a tip-off. Say, I know that place. It's the old Martinson house. It always was a crook hangout. So it is. Let's get out there, Reed. And find nothing? Well, then you're not going? Yes, Michael, I am. Tonight. I'll go with Jenks and Axford. You wait behind the Mortensen house with Black Beauty and the Hornets disguised. But why do you take this risk, Mr. Britt? Because I feel that that letter was a trap, meant for me as Britt Reed. We'll let the Hornets spring it on and see if we can't catch somebody. Understand? No, sir. But if you say it is all right, it must be. You take the lower road. You'll be there long before we are. over there. Turn on the door and cut your lights. Coast in the shadow of those trees. The car's here. Reed, get a couple men with them. If you cover the front and I'll take the back. Let's rush him. No, there's no need of anybody getting hurt. And besides, I want to catch whoever's in there alive. Okay, you scare them out and we'll grab them. Now, give me a couple of minutes to get set. Now, Reed, go easy, boy, will you? I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to you, and me not with you. Okay, we'll take them off. Where do they come in, and let them have it. I'll try to guess whoever's in there, and then rejoin Jenks and Axford when they found them. Be careful, Mr. Britt. I will. You wait for me at that corner of the house. I may have to get out of this disguise in a hurry. Yes, sir. of using my place as a hideout for your dirty work. your hornet, you better give up and come out. Dead or alive, they said, it makes no difference to me. All right, Mr. Hornet. Thank <laughs> you. 